right, guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. So there is a new Super Battle Road stage out. Um, this is actually going to be against Giant Ape Power. Um, now, here's the thing, right? I think extreme Super Battle Road stages still can provide a challenge. Um, oftentimes, the enemies uh, hit hard enough to emulate sort of like red zone boss level damage sometimes, right? Because, um, you know, remember, these are like turn one fights and the bosses are hitting really hard immediately. But normal Super Battle Road stages just do not have the bite anymore. Um, when you come in here with 200% characters, the these stages just get incinerated beyond belief. So remember, this is giant eight power that we're doing. The thing about the Giant 8 power category, it's not particularly great. Um, probably the best character we're not using is maybe, like, LR Great Ape Vegeta. Um, I mean, there's a few, like, odds and ends of, like, you know, okay characters. But if you just use LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, two of him, right, and then a bunch of the GT hero characters, this should be pretty easy. Um, we'll go ahead and go for the no-item run. Just our initial try on the stage, we might as well. Um, just go ahead and go for the no item run because dude it, it, it it's I, like these normal super battle road stages don't put up a fight at all they just go down very free um I, how about you know what i haven't done in a million years i've not played the intro for lr super saiyan 4 gogeta it's been a long time i'll play this let's play this Okay, so I don't really anticipate difficulties here. Let's just see how this goes, I guess. Um, I, 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 I feel like we'll go ahead and aim for this Goten right here. We do have a lot of powerful tech characters, but the thing about the Great Ape Power category, right, is that, you know, all, a lot of these GT heroes, these are characters from this year, 2022, right? I mean, a lot of them are EZAs, right? Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, um, you know, the full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku, um, the LR Super Saiyan 4s. Um, these are all characters who actually got their EZAs this year right which means that these are definitely like very capable level characters um for the last slot i decided to bring the gt vegeta he could be a little bit better defensively than the gt goku the gt goku is better damage wise but I, I i don't like look at this we don't need extra damage right? like basically i just want a character that's not going to get one shot in here potentially um this yeah, th this is going about as I expect. Again, normal Super Battle Road stages are just not even a challenge anymore, right? Like this, a lot of the characters we're getting these days are just so complex with all the buffs and the power, the stacking, right? Remember that the LR Super Saiyan 4s and the LR Gods are incredible units. Hey, it's Zilkan Fest Pan. Uh, she's already in here. Oh, I I I'll turn the intro. We played the intro once already. We'll, we'll go ahead and turn it off. But, um, yeah, Dokkan Fest Pan has actually, is actually an enemy already outside of her Dokkan event. That's, that's fast right there, right? This is, that's Pan's SSR right there. That's Dokkan Fest Pan's SSR. Oh my god, beautiful. So, again, here's the thing with the LR Super, LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and the LR Gods. Many characters these days have gotten this type of ability right here, which is like guard for a couple of turns or guard for the first turn, right? LR Goku Black and Zomasu does this, Fasha does this, Gamma 1 does it, the 7th anniversary LRs do it. I like it quite a bit, because it can allow you to get set up in the really tough stages, like Red Zone, right? Um, and then it also can really help you dominate EZA, Super Battle Road, and Battlefield as well. So it's just a great mechanic, right? Even though if you're guarding for the first three turns, it's not going to help you against the toughest Red Zone bosses but it will establish that character as relevant across the entire game, right? So I, I do think that's at least a very easy way for Dokkan's devs, I guess, to just be like, all right, 
will make this character really good for the whole game, but not specifically for red zone. The way you do that is you would time gate their passive at like the start of turn, right? What is Vegeta's defense? 155 right here, but it goes way up once we get all these orbs. Again, we should be good here. Even if Pan super attacks right away, we're still guarding, right? Like we have an easy LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta like on the rotation. Like this is, uh, this is not tough. The, these normal super battle road stages. I, I realized exactly how much of a joke these stages have become. It was when I was using um, Captain Ginyu's team. Like was, it was a terrifying conqueror category super battle road. And I just jumped in there with Ginyu's team and I was like, uh, okay, sure. This is not, not exactly tough, right? Uh, now, I, I bet you an extreme super battle road version of this stage could be difficult, but I mean, damn, that might not be for a while considering we're like, 40 stages away in terms of extreme super battle road right we're still going through the stages from like two years dude look at this this is insane what like <laughs> our character who started out in slot seven lr super saiyan 4 goku is is getting the rotation on the final fight goku jr and vegeta jr right here huh yeah wow man it's uh whoo again it, this just goes to show uh, you know, they dropped, they made 200% leader skills a thing, and just look at the way it, it just sort of bullies, like, the non-toughest content, right? We just destroy it. Um, okay, I might actually put, uh, LR, or, uh, I'm gonna put Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta at the end right here. Um, he will be fine, hmm... Maybe I won't. Maybe, maybe I will do this. Because I think it could lead to us getting... But the only thing is I just want to potentially... I mean, the LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta can finish off Goku Jr., right? I'm just nervous. And, and the thing is, even if Goku even if Goku Jr. would super Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, we have a 70% chance to counter, right? But, like, this is where, you know, it certainly doesn't feel fun when you're cruising along. And then just, like, one super attack on this Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and he just gets, like, insta-killed or something. It's like, oh, that's that's nice. That's a great run. <laughs> so, uh, our key orbs weren't exactly what I wanted, though. So, um, because remember, the other thing that... Oh, yeah, we're, we're going to finish him because he is super effective against all types. The other thing that Tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta does is he does passively debuff the enemy. But I do believe that they have to be um, extreme class characters uh, for that to actually work. And this entire fight um, is just super class opponents. So we're not going to be able to take advantage of Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Super. He didn't. Okay. Uh, we're not going to be able to take advantage of that. Right. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta with that passive debuff that he has. Oh, I'm kind of disappointed. Look, we, we've fallen off. My, my team building is not that good. We couldn't even finish... Uh, the entire red zone sweep in like one second. Who would t I think? Uh, maybe LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta probably tanks a bit better right here with the guard. Uh, but remember, true, true type advantage. Um, I have noticed does seem to give you a little bit of extra tanking. Yeah, I probably should have put Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta in slot one. Uh, because remember, he does also have a 30% chance to super attack counter. So if this Vegeta Jr. had tried to super attack us, uh, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta would have a 30% chance to just finish him off. We're just not supering. It doesn't matter. Like, we have 700,000 HP. Dude, look at how easy this stage is. It's just a joke. Like, not only did we no item it, but it's like we don't even take damage. Like, we, we like, uh, okay. It's fine. Um, it's fine. I just, I, I, like, a lot of people throughout the year were like, more matters to the game than just red zone and i think of something like this and it's like well is that actually true now i feel like it's not i, I don't know it, it does feel like all that matters is actually red zone you need to be red zone worthy these days because uh the 200 percent leader skills have just created these behemoth teams that do this right like th this is not uncommon outside of the red zone to just take a 200 percent team and you just Wipe it away with no effort within seconds. Very easy. Easy peasy, man. We'll go ahead and grab our rewards, um, which is pretty good. 
right? We'll get some stones. We get this, which can get us, you know, Kai's or Zenny. Um, and then we also get this. This support memory is going to be very, very good. Um, this is going to be the Vegeta family buffing support memory, which is going to be, again, very good to get. Um, those types of support memories that give the permanent buff, especially to a category like that, which, you know, many of those characters, a lot of times, it's hard to get them the support memory buffs. That's good. That's good. Um, so there we go. There is the giant eight power uh, category super battle road stage no item effortlessly in one try because normal super battle road stages are just not anything of note anymore they go down for free 